Okay, we're here. Damn it! Did they just end it? No way! They. J I had to switch from the YouTube to the Twitch one because the goddamn YouTube one wasn't starting. I just got to the end with flipping cloud. What the hell? Oh, please tell me that it wasn't just the short trailer. Oh, oh what a flipping jib. Mike. I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar characters we Please show me another trailer. Becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. I can't believe that the flipping YouTube one did not play. The Twitch one started and I got just to the end with a goddamn logo. What the hell? To our longtime fans, we thank you for your support and patience over these years, and we look forward to embarking on this journey together. え、ファイナルファンタジー Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed us to dive much deeper into the world and its characters. Uh, hopefully it is as good as um, the other ones. And we anticipate two Blu-ray discs worth of game content. The first game in this project expands... So it's expanding Midgar. It is the first episode on Midgar. Right. We all thought it was going to be just episode one in Midgar. Through the content we are about to unveil today, and through all that we have yet to unveil, we will not... Ooh, lofty promises. <laughs> Reunion. Oh. Please just show me another trailer, I need it. I've not played it, but I've seen enough of it. I know the full story through Let's Plays and all that, but I've not... Please welcome Neil okay. Lebeau. But yeah, I've not played Final Fantasy VII myself, but I've experienced it through Let's Plays and through other videos. I've watched Advent Children, I've seen Let's Plays of the other Final Fantasy VII related games. But this is going to be my first dive into it, maybe. I might play the original first, but we'll see. We're going to get gameplay! Oh, we're getting gameplay! That's Mosey. He said it. I know that's a line. There's the blonde boy. We're getting straight to the first fight. Oh my god! It looks so good! <laughs> Needs to be tactical. He needs a ATB bars. Right. So this is where the tactical mode comes in. Okay. Slow motion looks sick. Oh my god. <laughs> that is going to be so good for screenshots. Oh, Jesus. Yes! Yes! Right. Braver! Oh. 
Right. Materia. Don't tell Yuthi. Okay. Ah, oh, flippin' lag, no. Hey, Barret! I'm very curious to see how everyone else fights. Ooh. Like, how different is Yuffie gonna play to, compared to Aerith? Tifa! Give us Tifa! Give us Tifa! Give us Tifa! Oh. Come on, you gotta give us Tifa today. Okay, so there is tactical stuff in this. That's good. So it's not just going to be like straight up Kingdom Hearts style. It's going to have some more tactical sides. And there's shortcuts. Cool. So it definitely has the Kingdom Hearts elements to it, like the real life, uh, real time action. But I'm glad that there is that tactical side. Hopefully, there's a good balance for the old fans and the new. So it looks like we're going to get a lot more over the course of the year. Oh. Uh, who is it? Well. There's the bomb. Double crossing? What? Oh, I... I... Yep, it's the scorpion mech. It definitely feels like now this is the definitive cast. But it doesn't sound like it's the original one. It's the new one that they've got in. So it's not temp voice acting. Which is a shame, but hopefully these guys will still do fine enough as they are. I, I like the voices for them. Cloud Sound is a bit younger, but I like that because... I think that would be a little bit different compared to how Steve Burton had dubbed him, like in, say, Advent Children or the Kingdom Hearts series. And I'm liking what I'm hearing from Barrett as well. Hopefully they can handle some of the more lighthearted moments as well with the voice acting. Definitely a lot more dynamic this than uh, the original. I'm liking it so much so far. He's he's got the cockiness to him. The fact that he just like mocked him there and called like mocked the fact that Barrett's apparently a genius. But we didn't get that kind of cockiness out of Cloud, or at least to that sense. It felt very dry before. In the like the Advent Children and that. <laughs> and we're getting a lot of this fight, actually. I'm surprised by that. I mean, visually, it looks stunning as hell. And he's up and at him again. Damn, they're pushing out all the stops on the visuals. There's some cover. We're getting a, lo a lot of this, but I'm very surprised. Because it almost feels like it's a walkthrough uh, showing. Good use of the switch up, okay. How are they going to end it?
Whoa, a lot, a lot's gone on down. A lot more stuff's on fire. That's some really screeching going on. Is that it? Damn, still going on. Final solve of it. Go on. Again, there's also a lot of talking. Obviously, there wasn't like this much in the original. It's, now, this is where it starts to feel a bit more like the recent Final Fantasy games. Especially Final Fantasy XV. If anything, I think Cloud's humor is very much like Noctis's. Now that I think about it, it's a good mix between cocky or a bit of a like confidence, but the humor isn't like completely dry, which is good. But damn, that showed up the near enough the whole fight. Get it out of there. And into the <clears throat> live stream. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a hell of a way to show off the gameplay for the first time proper. Do, 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 do. Oh, of course he comes down to flipping one wing angel. Uh, Namura, is he wearing the Crocs from the uh, from the concert? I think he is wearing the Crocs. <laughs> Very smart casual. Since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this. Yeah, because when he just like a character designer before he got like into his own games with the Kingdom Hearts games and that. ことは<笑> So first and foremost, uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for a long while. until now. And also, um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we've fairly showed you um, a good bit. Mm -hmm. What else are you going to show, though? And I was wondering, do you guys want to actually play the game? Mm -hmm. Is that just talking about those at E3 or us as well? <laughs> he said E3, so it's more than likely he's going to talk about a demo there, which, fair enough. So we actually have playable demo kiosks available at the Square Enix East. Fair enough. So Lucky son of a guns. That's going to be a huge area for E3. Everyone going to be playing that. So, <laughs> 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 
で、えー、ぜひ、えー、昨日はですね、えー、コンサートの方でショート版のトレーラーを、えー、公開しましたけども今日はあのロング版をご用意してますのでぜひご覧ください。So finally, there is something that we wanted to show you.、Um, yesterday, we showed you a short version of a trailer at the final. Yes, so they must have shown off the short version first. Now it's time for the long one. Here we go. Oh, God. Please let this one have Tifa in it. Here we go. Oh, boy. Aerith. Oh, my God. You look so beautiful. Oh, my God. She really does look stunning. This whole game does. Can't believe that next year this is actually going to be a thing. It's just like in the same experience with Kingdom Hearts 3. It's something that we wanted, we knew it was going to come eventually, or at least most of us hoped it would, but it's just going to be so strange to have it in our hands. Heidinger, and he's lost a lot of weight. Whoa! We're on the bike. Jesse, I swear that she sounds like Erica Lindbeck. I think he's quite the keeper. Ah.、Uh. I wonder how expanded this is gonna be compared to the original. Because we got this scene coming up with a goddamn ghost, whatever they are, because they are new. Aerith! That's the first time we've seen her, like, properly shown off doing gameplay. We saw her in the background a little bit, but that was it. Yes! Tifa! Oh my god, she looks beautiful! And Marlene as well! But Tifa! Oh my god! Tifa! Oh my god! I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. Let me Tifa! Not like this. I just. I feel trapped. I can't believe we finally see Tifa! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! My turn. Come on, Tifa, show us what you got! Oh my days. That's all we wanted, just for Tifa. And there she is! And there's Tifa and Aerith! Is this after the Don Corneo stuff? Oh, that's. The pair! That's my, my two favorite pairs. I am a Cloud and Tifa guy. Ah, Shinra! Oh my god! We're actually seeing all of them together! Go on, Tifa! Oh, was that a、uh, dolphin kick? I think it was? Or someone like that? I can't remember. Again, I'm not. I haven't experienced Final Fantasy VII myself, but Jesus! Oh my god! <gasps> Severov! What the? I have a to ask of you. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell is going on here? This doesn't feel like it's. What the hell? That is definitely a new scene. But oh my god, we finally saw Tifa! And there it is, the 3rd of March. March is a packed month next year, but I don't care. Pre order now. Summon Materia DLC. Deluxe Edition. Holy crap. Oh my god. Hmm? Now. Is that the bike? Oh! Oh my god. Everyone's gonna jump on that now. They want that bike. Holy shit. Final Fantasy VII Remake looks fantastic.